Alright, welcome back to the Addicted Motors channel and on this uh, episode we're going to be doing a different type of rover rescue. So this is more of like a rover prospecting, alright? There's a few different ways to find something and one is using something I like to call the internet. And on the internet we were able to find a rover and transfer it to a place that we can look at it before we buy it so we don't absolutely screw ourselves over. So that's what we're doing right now. We're heading up to CarMax to look at I mean, if you see the cover, you'll probably figure out what it is, but I'm gonna say it's a mystery for now. Um, and we're kind of excited about it. It is the worst rover as far as reputation, what the general rover community thinks about these things, but it is a low mileage, one owner rover regardless. So pretty excited to check it out. Uh, we're gonna check in, kind of give it a thorough once over because the thing about buying something from CarMax is it needs to pass Virginia State inspection before they would release it to us. Uh, and it has to be done by them. I can't bring it to a shop or someone I know. So we have to see if it's feasible for us to buy it without them performing the work. And then if so, we can uh, proceed with the transaction. But until then, it's, we don't know what we're getting. So we, we can drive it. So what we can do is a visual, we can start it, probably look at it, and that's about it. And that's gonna determine whether or not we spend a bunch of money and, uh, and go, go forward with it. So stay tuned. And CarMax, this feels like we're on enemy territory. Like just sending into CarMax to buy some car that's worth like a set of Porsche tires, but uh, I'm into it. I'm not above it at all. And actually, here's the move. If you go to if you go to CarMax, this parking lot, the one that's always in front, is the one you want to hang out in because those are the people that are bringing their cars here to either get appraised or trading in. So if they don't like the CarMax offer, uh, you know, you can snipe it. I've actually made an offer on someone's car in the CarMax park because I was so angry. Oh, there you go, Green right Robert. there. Green Rovers, let's go. <laughs> they knew we were coming. Oh, rovers everywhere. Rovers everywhere. No, that's that's the one for girls. Um, all right, well let's uh, let's 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 check back up here in a second. Okay. See, we're not even we're not even in the building yet. We're already looking at stuff. I like the wheels. Yeah. It's probably a V6. Probably doesn't have low range. Let's see, LR4. Oh, it's got a hitch. Pretty good, but it's unlocked for sure. Probably someone's car. <laughs> All right, so we're killing time. This is a CT6 Cadillac. I don't, it's one of those cars that is really good looking, but you never really see. It's a 3.6 with sucks. Um, is this, they put the black wing in this one, but look at this. This is on the inside. <laughs> not good. Not good. Um, not a great interior. Man. Yeah. We're trying to find the crappiest car on the nice car lot, which is about as boring as it gets. I'm already bored. Where's the shitty rovers at? All right, we meet our guy. We're going in the back. Huh? What's that doing there? Like, like there's no way of getting updated on the chance or anything like that. You just gotta Ooh. be on the lookout for it. I use the okay. uh, automation to get okay. my own things easier. This is the, uh, the, the dirt ball backup. Little E36. Great. Is this the new one? That's just a red start. The purchasing manager of all the purchasing manager. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh my god, the hooch trucks work. Huh. You know, I, I would love to know what the backstory was for this. You know? There's no one that buys these and drives them for, you know, that little. Only in the winter. Yeah. Oh. But it's from Illinois and it's not that rusty. It actually looks fairly clean. It's got the cargo thing still. I mean, it's. ABS light. It might be a you gotta drive it and it'll go away. Yeah. Here. No, uh, I think there was a. Check out the uh, tailgate here. Oh, that's not good. Oh. oh, what am I doing? I forgot how to rover. Amazingly, all these struts work. Uh, Mike, uh, turn the radio on, see if that works. That never works in these. Uh, I like it all the hand rover stuff. Wow. Usually the water gets down into the, the speakers here and yeah. it just blows out the amps. Well, it's got all the original stuff and some not original stuff. That's surprising. Yeah. Full size. That's cool. Looks like someone's been back here, but. Wild. And then it has the. Uh, oh. Uh, try the windows too. This one. Oh, there's the. Home link. I wonder what this is going to also. <laughs> it's in the it's in the dash and in the car. <laughs> Turn on the heated seats. Oh yeah, that's I think that must be the dash game. Oh it must go to this. Oh okay. Alright. Oh yeah, let's look at the, for that too. Wipers, tires. Tires are date stamped. Tires are 17, that's pretty good. Oh, suspension. Is it air suspension? Or has it been converted? Uh. All right, here's gonna be the main one. Yeah, there it is. What? Over D. Uh, uh -oh. Goddamn British. Oh, they put it on the wrong side. <laughs> What the hell? Uh, I just reached through my legs, Mike. Wouldn't <laughs> be the first time. Jeez. Oh, I would kill that. Turn the lights on. Make sure those work. There you go. Bonnet. Okay. Yeah, I can take it on a little bit. Uh, Transmission feels Oh, they're like, light one out. Yeah, usually it just has to sense a little rotation, mm -hmm. which is nice. That's crazy. It actually went out. Windows tint down? Yeah. No, I, I haven't, I've, I've had one that did the same thing, and it's like, oh man, I'm screwed. Because people yeah. take a picture with it, and they're like, oh, the UBS is out, and then. Yeah. Okay. Not to self, because I'm doing the inspection. I'm gonna pull it around for him, just drive around in circles. Yeah, see if we can get it in the low range. Yeah, yeah, put it in neutral. Kind of neutral, it's kind of it's kind of weird, it has to like, kind of feel it and then it Let me or push down. Yeah, yep, there you go. go. All right, put it in. There you go. Cool, oh, that feels promising. Yeah, I'm gonna drive. Okay, that's all I needed. Yeah. Just as it went in. It goes. Sweet, yeah. nice. Yeah, not bad. All the lights working? All the lights on? All the lights on. Lights work? Yeah. Only just the heat. Let's just get let's just get it up the sorry, I'll leave it on if you don't mind. Yeah, I just want to get up yeah, the yeah. temp. Yeah. Uh, I didn't run the codes yet, but Yeah, all the lights work. Yeah. This is this is cool. Yeah. Alright, it is on coils. The frame looks good. This isn't bad. That's kind of a, the, t the tape, I don't know what the tape's. Oh, what about this cracked headlight? 
It's not cracked. It's not cracked. That's a bummer, but that's What's fixable. That? Did they have a picture of the pecos? Of the what? Yeah. So we got a weird sunroof issue. We've got some paint chipped on the top. That's all. That's all fine. Um, so what? A, yeah, I don't really know what else to look at. Ugh. It's honest under there. I wouldn't say it's the cleanest underside I've seen, but I like the word honest. Exhaust so sounds good. Motor looks clean. A little drip there on the oil pan, but not the other one. Range Rover, Zach. Do you smell? It smells like the year 2000. <laughs> Actually, I smell very little, to be honest with you. Last thing, AC check. Uh, you gotta do both. So yeah, this is a fully functioning vehicle, which is pretty crazy. Um, I think we're gonna have to, I think we're gonna have to buy it. I mean, Zach's gonna have to buy it. But while we're here, again, not that that's not interesting enough. Man, this uh, XLT, I think it's a gas truck. Um, I didn't see power stroke on it anywhere. Definitely four wheel drive. Definitely has that rad uh, kind of paint scheme. I forget what the model is. Oh yeah, two mufflers. So yeah, that's definitely a gas. Um, it's got the it's got the look. It's like a Centurion or something maybe. Um, a little manual uh, E36 323. Oh, just like Cindy's car. Except I said I would never do a convertible again. Uh, completely over that uh, leaky roof life but neat little lineup back here honestly <laughs> all right well thanks for following along through uh, our little carmax uh adventure so needless to say we just locked in the purchase so it has to get inspected next week and then we'll get it back we'll put up a lift and do the whole run through but i'm super excited for this i've never seen a p38 with this low mileage and that condition um, it's a very honest condition and it looks like, again, it's just someone's winter car and whatnot. So it's exactly how you want to find them. Um, obviously this will be for sale. This is not something we're keeping. We're going to do a minor, uh, rejuvenation on it and then probably list it for sale. Um, so follow along. I can't wait to clean it. Uh, again, put up in the lift, do that all the fun stuff. So thanks for watching. Please like subscribe, do all that fun stuff and, uh, follow along for some more.